Hello, it's three days before Christmas, and I welcome you to our daily devotions. I'm Pastor David Shub at Trinity Lutheran Church in West Bend. We start by reading from the 10th chapter of Mark's Gospel, where it says, People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them. And the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. We say that Christmas is for children, and there's some deep truth in that reality. Last week we talked about, a little about Jesus coming as a baby. What a strange way for God to enter the world. Yet maybe not so strange. Maybe God was saying that to be like a little child, even a little baby, is a holy thing. We live in a world where children long to grow up. Why? So they can do what they want. They want to be independent. And we, as parents, I guess, want them to be independent too. But is being independent the be-all and end-all of our existence? Jesus, in our lesson for today, called everyone to be like children. What I've come to believe is that Jesus saw holiness in vulnerability, in the need for others to touch our lives. Jesus saw holiness in the need for others to help us. Because only in our vulnerability do we understand our need for God and our need for for one another. David Losey, a great biblical scholar, says that Jesus overturns the prevailing assumptions about power and security by inviting the disciples to imagine that abundant life comes not through gathering power, but through di- displaying vulnerability. Not through accomplishment, but through service. And not by collecting powerful friends, but by welcoming children. Paul Decker, in a sermon for Christmas, said this, Attempt to wrap your mind around the fact that all of that power and strength and knowledge and holiness was stuffed into the physical body of a complete human male infant. Helpless. Weak. Completely and totally dependent on a human mother, on a human father, but with, both without any support structure of their own, far from home, with the best option for this newborn to sleep being a cattle feeding trough. That's certainly not the kind of existence of our world that our world would expect of the King of Kings. Certainly not a Hollywood beginning. Certainly not leading in strength and glory. There in all the weakness and helplessness of infancy. In the dirt of a stable lay God. You see, Jesus left his exalted position. This is powerful vulnerability. Bob Rains tells of a time when he shared with a co-worker the pain he felt because of a rupture in a relationship. They talked about the sorrow and sadness of hurting another person, of being hurt, and somehow being unable to get across that gulf. In relating the experience, his voice echoed his inner pain. Later, he found a note on his desk from the colleague who wrote, Dear Bob, my heart ached and I was moved deeply by the pain you were feeling this morning. And I know you felt, on other, uh, you, I know you felt that way on other occasions. I don't really know how to comfort you, but want you to know that I pray for you, love you, and support you to the fullest extent of my being. May you be healed, strengthened, blessed, made whole. May you be persistent and your vision be kept clear. And may you know that you are loved as a beautiful, truly beautiful human being. Reigns concluded, I don't expect to receive a more healing benediction in my lifetime than that one. And it wouldn't have been given except for a moment in which I was was unable to hide my wounds. A moment long enough for someone to see and to care. In the birth of the Christ child, God is saying, I see you. I know your need. I care. But we can only receive this gift as a child. Are you ready to receive the gift? Let us pray. 
Lord, help us let go of our need to be in charge. Let us admit our vulnerability and need so that we can be blessed by the love you offer. Amen. Christmas is for children, so may that little child in you be born anew as you prepare for the coming of Christ. Have a good day.